Hello everyone, I'm Marianne, the Artsy Crafter. Welcome to my channel. And today, uh, as I said in the last video, I'm going to continue with my little mini series of making pockets for my travel journal. And today, I'm going to be working on the last signature, and I'm going to do on the inside. If you can see, I've got some working on some Kentucky Fried Chicken paper. <laughs> So I'm going to be covering that up and I'll put that aside for now and show you what I've got in mind. I'm using another envelope here and I'm going to use this one as a flip out as well. And my background, uh, I better bring this back because it doesn't make sense unless I demonstrate. Uh, this is going to be on the base page. So that'll go like that. Uh, because this is in uh, the UK and I've got the British Isles here. So this is somewhere around here, Hollyhead, somewhere down around here. And uh, so I thought that would be appropriate to use. And it's a bit vintage, um, this map. So uh, that's why I'm using that one. So this flip out, I will put a, an insert in here, a hinge. And that will go behind this map so I can flip it out. And this will be a uh, side pocket. And I'm also going to do a flip, um, a flip up, I think. Yes, I'm going to do a flip up. So first of all, I need to put the hinge on and stick that behind. But before I do that, I thought I would cover both sides of this envelope. So this time I can put this aside, hopefully. <laughs> And get on with the next. This is just an image of a castle. It's not because uh, we're going to uh, visit a castle when we go to Hollyhead. And uh, we're going to go visit Conway Castle and Carnarvon Castle. So uh, this is just a make-believe castle that I um, made up um, online. And uh, so it kind of a blend between the two. And I backed this onto some... Uh, digital paper I think this is and then uh, I want to add some I just um, grunged up some ruled paper if you can see that my light seems to be very bright today and I will I've inked around the edges torn and inked around the edges and I'll place that on there and this is going to be what I said is my flip up so I will be attaching that onto the back of there and this will um, I should say I will be attaching it on the front of this pocket and uh, it will flip up like that. So before I do all that, I want to uh, cut the panel out to put on here and I thought I'd use up some of my uh, scrapbook paper. This one I've had for a long time and I thought it's appropriate because it's got road trip, which we'll be doing on this particular day that I'm talking about at Hollyhead. We're going on a road trip uh, in a bus. And uh, so I thought it would be great to cover this. And I'm going to actually wrap it around the entire envelope like so. And I couldn't get um, all the word road trip on there, but I've got this here, expedition, one-way ticket, and those kinds of things. So, you know, sightseeing. So I will see how I go with that and the excess, uh, when I cut the excess off, I'm going to use the excess uh, to make a flap on the front here and that way um, I can close this over because I'm going to be adding things into this pocket so it will be a side pocket and also to attach it to the back panel here. I'll do another cut off and I'll glue that onto the back of this pocket and it will wrap around and go underneath there. So um, this will make sense um, when I actually do it. So hopefully it will make sense when I actually cut all these panels out. So the most important one is to get the panel that is going to wrap around this pocket. So I'll go ahead and measure that out and I don't want to, um, I really want this bit uh, on the front here so I'll um, have to sacrifice the end of this word uh, to 
achieve that so that's uh, the price you pay but anyway I will do that so I'll measure it up and I'll do the measuring on the back so that's the part I want so I will line that up and hopefully I'll get most of it and I'll get my pencil and draw a line and then I'll use my ruler and continue that line across and then I can cut it out um, but because I want to use some more of this paper I need to measure how much I need to uh, where to cut this off because I don't want to waste any and it's four and three quarters or 12 centimeters um, so I will do it in centimeters because 24 is easier to work out than double four and a quarter which is what eight and a half so what I say <laughs> now, I've said that I've forgotten <laughs> so it wasn't four and a quarter it was four and three quarters silly me 12 24 and uh, it would take me too long to work it out in my head what four and three quarters is what's that eight nine and a half something like that 24 so now I need to hopefully this will all give me some um, a flap and a hinge so I'm going to cut this out uh, with my scissors so I'll do that okay I have got that cut out so I'm just going to double check I should be able to fold this in half Go and then slip this inside and hopefully it will fit pretty much anyway I can always trim that edge off if I want to um, when I glue this panel on I can do that trim that off as you can see there's a little slither of uh, envelope there so before I can uh, glue this on though I've got to remember that this is going underneath here so I've got to keep that in mind as well so um, I butt it up there that will be fine so I could do that now um, and I've got to think on my feet it shouldn't interfere with the rest of what I want to do so it's just a matter of cutting the rest out and gluing that on so I might do that so I'll glue this on to here first, keep it in position, and I'll have it um, against this edge here. So if I have to cut some of this off, I'm not going to be cutting this panel off. So I'll have it against that edge there, and then I'll get my glue and glue it up down. And then it's just a matter of gluing this on to the envelope. So uh, I might uh, glue onto the envelope. It might be easier to manage that way. Okay, I got it as close as I can get. I think that's still straight along there so I can trim that up and I'll do the other side now. There you go. So now I will trim this bit off. Hopefully I won't make a mess because the uh, glue is still a bit wet. So we'll see. I did a little bit of damage there. But, uh, I don't like to use the craft knife when the glue is still a bit wet. Okay, so the next job is to make the flap. You can use one um, to make the front flap. So I can measure that over 
measure that. Because they'll have to be a little bit smaller than the size of the envelope so that I can fit it inside. So I just cut it on the inside of that line. And I want to hinge, um, and which side are we on? This side. So this will go over the top. No, it will go there. And then this will sit on the top of there. Because you don't want to cover the, your, <laughs> your um, image up. Um, so I'll see that will fit inside properly. important and looks like I'm I know it fits snugly that's good and then um, I'm just wondering what to do about this edge um, it kind of blends into the background I don't know whether I want that or not um, I could cut it off with rounded edge so it looks like an envelope side and continue that on. I didn't really want to sacrifice any of it, but um, I think I will because I don't want I don't want to put a strip on the back as a hinge because you'll see it from the side, and you've got enough bulk there and it'll look a bit ugly. So I might have to sacrifice some of that, um, uh, or just have a think about what I want to do because on the other side I'm going to have to some do something on the other side here so I could always glue something on and um, I'll give you an idea what I'm talking about um, this isn't a good example but I might glue that so I glue that onto the back of this flap and then leave some over and then I can turn this over and give an edge so it's got a bit of a trim on the edge there so I think if I'm going to do something like that I need something that's going to be standing stand out a little bit more um, but uh, I think I will uh, attach this first and so I need to put a hinge on it so I will do make sure the hinge goes on the right side which is the left side <laughs> turn it upside down and I'll put on a um, Three eighths of an inch, one, two, three, which is one centimeter hinge, just so that I know that it's going to uh, attach properly. And I'll get my trussy little thingy bobby here with the blunt end to score the hinge. Just makes it easy uh, to fold over like that and. Fold it over that way and then back towards me. There we go. And then I can attach that onto there. Before I do that, I've got the next hinge. So if I measure this up, line this up, and this is the straight edge, it doesn't matter, you're not going to see this. So um, I'll line it on the back so I can see where I'm marking. And mark it to exactly the same height and cut that out on the line this time or just on the inside of this line um, and then this will fit into here that way and I'm going to fold this over and that way you get a nice edge on your envelope. So leave that aside. And for the hinge, I don't need, um, I'll do half inch and a half inch um, on the back of here. So that means one inch across, one inch or two and a half centimeters. There. Oops. 
here and I just have to fold this in half and then all I have to do is glue this half on this side which so this is going to go on that side and then this will go under and glue onto the back of our back panel so our back panels one thing I didn't do <laughs> which is going to be a pain is that I didn't measure the uh, length of my envelope so I need to do that I should have done that before I didn't even think about it that glues onto there make sure I get it in the right place glue onto there and there okay so I need to I'm going to open this up um, it's going to be double thickness but I'll see how I go and move my blade out so I'm going to open the end come on, open up and then I need to score it along those lines makes it easier to bend like that and fold it over there's a bone folder just need that crease hopefully it'll be when i fold it in just makes it easier to fold that in match them up pretty much matched up and make sure that I've got it at the right height this time before I glue it down so that looks pretty good and also match it up that should be fine <laughs> so now I can glue this down and I might use some fabric glue so it dries a bit faster and uh, so that was a quick fix fortunately for me okay that way you still have the full height of the envelope so it won't um, make sure that glue doesn't get on the wrong side okay and we'll leave that there to dry for a second while I clean up some of this so this is my hinge to attach to the back panel and put the other one I don't need away Whoop. and close up my craft knife before I stab myself in the tummy <laughs> which I nearly did that would be great going on holiday with a big hole in my tummy okay that should be dry enough now so I'll glue this one on to here first might be the easiest way to go so it's just a matter of attaching glue onto this side and otherwise again I'll use the fabric glue so it dries a bit faster and then the trick is getting it in here oh and the trick is I had to redo it didn't I I wasn't thinking I have to resize it <laughs> I don't know it's going to be one of those days
there you go so that's attached so that will attach to this page this page this panel here and then that will get glued down onto the journal page so that's done and uh, so now I will do this hinge as well on here and of course I have to cut this one down and Do it the same way. There we go. Okay, so that will work. So now I glue on the front part and I'll use the same glue. So that worked out. So there we go. Thank goodness for that. Okay. And then still a matter of uh, what we're going to do in there. So but, uh, that's how it's going to look. And I could attach that to this panel now. Because um, that's just uh, simple. I don't know why this Kentucky Fried Chicken page is upside down. But it doesn't really matter because uh, I'm covering it up. Not that we'll be eating KFC on our trip. Uh, we don't eat. Um, we don't eat fast food. Fast food. Fast food when we're away because there's too many other nice foods to eat to try out all the local cuisines. And this is going to be a bit of a challenge because it's to put in because it's uh, really thick. So if I put it over that way, then it might be easier not as much bulk to try and get this page down okay there you go so that's all in and there and the uh what i'm going to do is put that panel on here if i can find it oh yes here it is here attach that panel to there a little writing panel and that seems to be catching up the top there so I might round these corners off at least round them off and before I round them off I need to add another panel on the inside and as I said I'm going to uh, wrap it around the front to create a, an edge there so if you give me a minute I'll go find some paper because um, I'll actually I'll glue this on first and then I'll go find some paper <laughs> to put on. Okay, I've got this panel and you can see I've taken this flap off um, because I don't know whether you picked up on my mistake, but luckily I picked up on my mistake before the glue dried. I attached this flap onto the front of this envelope, which meant the pocket would be behind where I should have been attaching it to the back of this envelope and because I need the pouch to be open this side and then this is the flap to close it like an envelope <laughs> um, I was thinking about doing it this way but then um, what would be the point of having a flap if I did do that so luckily I was able to um, get this off before the glue dried and uh, correct my mistake so I must have heard one of you screaming at me through the camera <laughs> and I went ahead and cut this out I thought this would be um, a good contrast to this bit and of course it goes this way like that so I'm going to reattach this first and then I'll attach this one or should I attach this first and then reattach that might be easier to uh, to work out and of course doing this adding this onto here means that I can't round the edges um, because then it will ruin the um, the look I think it'll ruin the look up the top there because um, yeah I'm not sure 
but I think with that thickness there that will keep that from bending over when that top flap comes down so um, yeah I might just leave it that way leave it as it is I don't want to <laughs> make any more mistakes <laughs> okay so I'll glue this down now There you go, and now I can, before this sticks to it, re-glue this. I almost made the same mistake again. I don't know. I'm going to, um, I should have put the whole panel over there, then you would have seen Yes, I'm going to put um, a bit of something on there. I glue a strip of that on there. Uh, just because it's got glue on it. So if I put that on there and then cut this off. And then hopefully I won't keep making the same mistake. Okay, now I need to go this way, you know. Yes, I need to have this panel this side. So if I fold that over and I'll glue this bit down, I'm hoping I'll get it right this time. What's this, the third time? I need to go this way. And it's going to attach to this side. There we go. Okay. Hooray. <laughs> I think we got success this time. Just make sure that it's in far enough. It looks at this side. So it should be fine that side. And then this is curling up because the glue is still drying. It will flatten out after a while. Just have to bend it back the other way like that. And finally have my pocket and it's working. All the way up very good so there we go <laughs> and the other thing is I can attach some velcro to there to keep that closed and I don't have any out at the moment but you know you get the idea how to do velcro it's self-adhesive I used last time we saw so that's my uh, next pocket already done finished and thank you very much for coming along on this journey for me it was uh touch and go there a couple of times but we got it done uh that's so that's that one and i uh want to thank everyone for watching and uh we're going to be doing a Perhaps a couple of more things in this journal uh, before I finish with it, uh, for the videos anyway. And then uh, when I come back from my trip and start working in this, I will show you uh, some of the places perhaps that we visited. So uh, you can look forward to that if you like looking at people's uh, travel photos. <laughs> so uh, anyway, thanks. Uh, I already think I said thank you for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because uh, I'll have lots more of these videos coming along and um, so for now I want to wish everybody a happy crafty day and we'll see you in the next video bye everyone